Why, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to more Dylan's Rolling Western, The Last Ranger. We are going to be tackling on main stage number one. This is going to be just day one. And I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys most of the action by splitting up the screens and having them all be full screen and stuff and things. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but, you know, I changed the, the bottom screen whenever I'd like to. I figured out how to do it. So there we go. I'll probably stick to the top screen for the most part, at least during ga the gathering of stuff and things. Unless I find a ruin, and I'll pop it to the bottom screen just to show you guys the location of said ruins. Okay. And, uh, you know, I think it'd be also best to keep it in both screen mode when we do raids. When, when the town gets is raided. Or however that is said. <laughs> uh, you know, when the Groks are attacking. Because you need to see the bottom screen to know when. Where, where people, where the Groks are uh, coming, you know? So that's important. But for the most part, we'll stick to the top screen as much as we can. I hope you guys like this news layout. <laughs> just uh, try to say. Let me know what you think in the comments below when we get this going. I wish I figured this out for the first episode, but you know, is what it is. What it is. All right. Anyway, let's continue the game. So last episode, we took care of Gamble Ranch, and... I think we did pretty good. No scruffles were harmed in that in that stage. <laughs> so main stage one, Rail Fork Farm. So we have a friend here called Abraham. And yeah, Abraham, he looks like a pretty laid back fellow. So I'm not sure what kind of voice to give him, but I think we'll try this. Rock dens have been sprouting up one, two, three, all around the village. It's happened so fast! Help us, Ranger! You yeah, know, voice actor, I am not. I'm trying. <laughs> but okay, I think this will probably be a good voice for him. Alright, now I guess let's just start. Oh, we can we can bring him all along for the story, yeah? We can bring Gallo along. The coin killer. You know what? We can. I think it does come at a cost, though. But I think we have enough money to do it, so let's do it. Okay, Dylan, let's start with 1500. All right, let's do it. All right, <laughs> Operation Railroad Rescue. The armadillo and the squirrel have come to my farm. My farm! You're finally here. I'm overwhelmed with joy. You're the young heroes who brilliantly stopped that Grox rampage last year. The invincible ranger Dylan and his sidekick trooper. I mean, topper. I mean, oh, I don't even know. Um, who's topper? Ho oh, ho, what do you mean who's topper? Why, you're topper. I mean, you totally look like a topper. That's your name, isn't it? Topper? The name's Russ. I'm Russ the Squirrel. Oh, so he's a squirrel. I couldn't tell either. <laughs> okay. Now we have that confirmed. It's a squirrel. What's he doing with his head? <laughs> oh my gosh. His head totally... It's totally... Trip it out right there. That's hilarious. I, I, you probably wouldn't have noticed on the smaller size sites if, if the screen wasn't this blown up. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> it's it's almost like he's like, um, you don't know me, mm -mm, Miss Thang. You don't know me. You know those. You know the that 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 kind of thing. That that's always funny. <laughs> anyway. Moving on, uh, moving on. Oh, I beg your pardon. Well, well, I'm Abraham, the pig. Hmm. To make up for getting your name wrong, please accept this. It's a crystal. What kind of crystal? It's a bomb. And boy, does it pack a grandiose boom, too. Ha <laughs> ha. 
That's great, isn't it, Dylan? Something like this is sure to make our job a bit easier. You heard the news from Governor Cappy, right? The Groks are now attacking the railroad tracks. Yeah, we heard. Any ideas on why they are doing that? We don't know. But it might be that they simply don't like new things. Thanks to the Groks, we're short on supplies, which makes things a bit tough. Please, Ranger, please defend the village and the railway. That pig calling me Topper? Who does he think he is? But you know, buddy, that bomb he gave us may actually be useful. A bomb like that could deal a lot of damage to the Crocs. It should be a pretty quick and efficient way to get rid of an entire group of them. We have two days until the train comes through here. If you think the bomb crystal will help, don't hesitate to set it off. Which means going into our bag. That's kind of cumbersome to do when we're uh, trying to fight things anyway. Alright. What do you aim to have me do, Dylan? Let's have you collect money this time. So you want me to find money? Yep, let's do it. Gotcha. Okay, we only have 10 Scrugs here. Which means looking for Scruffles is up to me as well. Well, it looks like we already found our first shrine over here. Or Ancient Ruin or whatever it's called. <laughs> well, I guess before we go there, we should also go to the mine. Haha, <laughs> I managed to get a good combo going this time. Awesome! Is he just shooting rocks? <laughs> Callow, my man. You're just shooting the rocks. That's funny. Alright, I think we won't have him do a cat to cash this time. Next, uh, next time. Alright, let's enter in. And just to show you the, the location on the bottom screen. That's where the first mine is. Oh, there's this place is in half. I <laughs> think you can see Gallo going around. Okay, well, anyway, that's all cool and dandy. Let's see what we got in this treasure chest. A piece of heart. Okay. Nice. Aha, uh -huh. so we have an increased, we have an extra heart now, awesome! That's pretty exciting. Okay, I don't see anything that looks like mines up there. But I do see a couple of places that, uh, that look like, uh... Hmm. Alright, we've already been up there. Oh, there's another one. Ancient ruin over there. Cool. And another mine. All right, well, let's take care of the mine and then we'll take care of the ancient ruin after that. All right, hopefully for it, we'll get a good combo and get lots of things. Oh, we already goofed it up. Oh, well. It's okay. This place has three gates to take care of as well, I noticed just now <laughs> okay so oh wow i can't believe i missed that there we go it's always best to find all of the uh ancient ruins at the uh start 
of things. So, there's the other ancient ruin. You can tell that's a question mark for where the uh, other ancient ruin is. Alright, let's get this church chest. Hey, looks like we got something we can sell. Malachite. Alright. Well, I guess the best place to go to the other side of the map is through this waterfall. Which is actually pretty cool. Will it let me? Yeah, it will. Here we go, and there's a mine right here. Why did I dodge it? Let's go, just back to the mine. Wow. So, I'm doing so poorly on these controls right now. <laughs> My apologies. Oh, there's four. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. How did I goof that up? Come on. Game. <laughs> Why? All right. Well, fine. That's that's how it goes. That's my Dylan Cherry looks. I'm controlling Dylan to look like he's drunk or something. Hitting up that moonshine a bit too early. Are you, Dylan? Well, this is. A, oh, there's our third. Our third and final ancient ruin. Unless there's more in these main stages. But I don't think so. Really watch for that arrow. But you know, time is important too. Okay. Moving on to the ancient ruin after grabbing these scruffles. Here we go. Scruffle one, scruffle two, and scruffle three. And now for the last and final ancient ruin. Which is located right here, up at the top corner. Let's see what we got in this treasure chest. Okay, we got ourselves another item to sell for lots of money. Barrel. Ruin Runner. Ah, oh, that's an interesting... Thing. Okay, well, we got something from that rock. <laughs> I thought I'd try to collect some coin, too. <laughs> oh. Again, Dylan. I've been hitting that moonshine. Oh, gosh. I suppose I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> Dylan is not even hitting the moonshine. I am just bad at this game. I don't even know why people want me to do it. I'm just... I'm, I mean, I don't know. I'm not bad at this game. I'm getting... I don't know. I'm getting flustered with this new th way of doing things. Did I already get that place? I did. Okay, that's... Is this another ancient ruin right here? Nope, that's the railway track. Okay. Okay, we can't go there. And I bet there is some scruffles or something else over here. But I, oh, yep, there is. I have to go the long way. Well, okay. And I'm not going the long way anymore. Hey, look at the sky! The village will be locked during the raid! If you got business in the village, do it now! Alright, since I don't really know exactly how air to cross the river, we shall just go over here. Um, no. In the hole. Oh my gosh. Dylan has a headache now. Let's go meet up with Gallo first. Because he's the one that got the monies. And you know what? We don't need to talk to him. We can collect the money after we do things in the village. Because he's still collecting money. He's not done. What do you think, Ranger? Are you ready for what's coming? Well, first, of course, we're going to donate what little scruffles we gathered. Unfortunately, there's only 43, 
three, but um, you know, day one we can we can uh, we can be a little bit lax on grabbing the materials. I mean, it's best to grab as many as you can, especially mining materials. Oh my gosh! All right, let's build defense gates. There's no clues in the game to tell you which one which one just built first so let's just have a look down at the bottom screen and see they have there is a road to each door there is a gun tower built already right next to the village there right here so i think i can't point with this can i no i can't of course not all right so i think we'll leave that side alone we're gonna build a uh a, t a gun we'll equip that with a gun and hopefully that will help things and we'll stick around nearby hmm I wasn't able to explore too much on the other side here hmm, hmm. okay well anyway let's let's do the north gate all right so we got the build gate filled up all the way those bullies we'll do all we can to help with the defenses Thank you for the peace of mind. Okay, so we could put something here. It, will it go? It, it's close to being full. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll build that one last, though. Let's build this one up on the east side. Gate, we'll build that one up. I think that's the right one I said. I might, yeah, east side. So we will do that. Let's buy and sell. Do they sell bombs here? They do at 300 apiece. Okay. All right. We will leave that for another time. Let's sell some gems. Okay. That's that. Any ore left over? Just three stone. All right. <laughs> we'll get that going. And we have only one, one bomb. Okay. Well, with that said, let's exit the village. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have done a voice for that, but whatever. It's fine. Let's go and equip this gun tower that's already built. Which one are ya? Gun Tower 7. Gun Tower 7. Apparently, this gun tower gets a cannon. Well, it is right up along the road there. As you can... I'll show you here. It is right along the road here. So the cannon probably will work out the best for us. I mean, there's... Yeah, there's... Yeah, I think equipping a cannon here would probably be the, the best idea. But, they will still swing by. Something Grox will get by, though. We're gonna blow them over the cannonballs. Now let's go see if Gallo has finished collecting money or not. Because I won't be able to talk with him until he's done. Where are you, Gallo? Are you up here? He's still collecting money, isn't he? Where is he? Oh, he's up. He's on the other side. I bet he'd collect money indefinitely, wouldn't he? It might not be such a bad thing. If we didn't... Alright. There you are, Gallo. <laughs> oh, by golly. Alright. Take money. Here you go. Spin it wisely. 500. Okay. Yeah, that it? Yeah, that's that's like small change, you know? That is not the bestest. All right, we'll have him wait somewhere. Yes, stop collecting money. Oh, uh, well, I guess we can have him go over here, but he kind of, you know what? These rangers really go where they want, don't they? I, I had him go near the town. We'll have him go right down here. Alright, I guess I can run over and collect some of the stuff. Or not. <laughs> Never mind. 
<laughs> so the Grocks are coming. Of course, Dylan has to tell us, watch out, the Grocks are coming. Gates are being closed. Of course, we only built one. So now the Grocks are incoming. So let's see. Oh, well, there's one right coming out right, here, right out of there. I think we might as well, since we're near it. Alright. There we go. We better make our way back to the village, though. <laughs> or not. Or not. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure. Alright. Thanks for the help, Gallo. You know, you might... Yeah. They're already programmed to, uh, be near and around where the Grocks are. Oops. I think I noticed he was closest to the village, so I went for him. And I only got two of them. Oh, there's already something near the village, is there? Oh, yep, it's going right for the front door. The north gate, good thing there is something out there. Good thing there's already a, a defense wall up there. Phew. But I better get back to the village. Okay, I don't think there's any other Groks. Right up, never mind. There's one right here. He's... Hmm. He's going the other direction. Okay, well, we'll, we'll meet him up on this road. There we go. <laughs> I saw you on the bomb screen. Let's take care of you. Okay. That took care of that. Oh, I see a red rock on the screen. And it's crossing. It's crossing over up into here. So I better. Oh, never mind. There's one that just erupted over here, too. Yeah, he's almost. He's almost at the door. <laughs> there we go. Huh. I had to figure out how to get exactly to get to him. Oh, come on, let me add this big guy. Oh yeah, there's the gun grok. He's on the screen now. Come on, fight it. Gun Tower 2 is under attack. There we go. Okay, the other red rock is going to the other door. Let's collect as much things as we can before the time... time's out. Look at that gal has finally come up to help. Okay. The red rock isn't quite there yet, so we can take care of this group here. Alright, domino effect. We're gonna need Gallo's help for the red rock, too. I don't see. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, there's only three rocks left. One of them being this one. I think, yeah, the gun tower number two is being attacked by the gun grok. Which we're gonna have to defeat that thing, too.
Oh man. Alright, got tower two, down for the count. Oh, okay. I saw an object there I could have, I wanted to break, but, um... Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> I keep running into things this episode. This is kind of embarrassing. All right. Okay. All right. The gun grok has just crossed his way over here to the uh, other side of the map. That makes sense. Okay, that was the opening there. Come along, Gallo. Make your way over here. Help me fight this thing. Gotta wait for him to shoot, and then... Hey! Hit him! Hit him! Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, because he dodges every time. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize I had not already picked up that item. Okay. Basic three skill something? Was that what that came up on the screen there? But anyway, village has been defended. Awesome. We gained some money. Our VC bonus was based on 270 VC points to get 540, which is cool. We will, yeah, that's that's it for viewing the rewards. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'm so glad you made it back here alive. What wonderful work you did. I even, well, I cried for joy. During the battle, when all those terrible creatures appeared, I squealed. Yeah, I know, we heard you. Calling to bring and save the village. It was... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Dylan, that greenish one. You really need to be careful about that one. It's a crafty one. We could hear it bang, bang from far away. If you hadn't stopped it, it would have leveled all the towers in no time. It duck it's got one of them, that's for sure. But you finished it off rather brilliantly. Well done, Dylan, and thanks in advance for fighting tomorrow too. Okay. Well let's go check out the side quests. I don't think we need to heal up at all, so we'll leave us Leave that be. Okay. Inside track. First train arrives. <laughs> well, this person looks quite eccentric. It's a lady. Oh, uh, she has a train for a hat. <laughs> so you're a ranger. My name's Kathy. As you can see, I love trains. <laughs> they say a train is on its way here. So here I am. I don't care if it's dangerous. After going through all this trouble, I want to see the best shiniest train ever. It would be terrible if the Groks were to smash it up. Don't you agree? It should have 75% health at the very least. Any less is unacceptable. So can you get the train here with minimal damage? I'll give you a nice reward. We'll try. This is the first time doing this with a train. You'll do it? Great. I've been looking forward to this so much. Okay. News flash. Exclusive ace. 
Hey, it's me again, Rachel the Roving Reporter. I'm looking into another rumor I heard. The story goes that you can defeat eight enemies in battle using only bombs. Okay, so we will have to buy bombs. That's, that's a, a thing. Okay. Noted. Uh, we only have one right now. I think we're buying three might help us in defeating, or at least buying two more will help us in doing this quest, I think. We'll see. In the past, I might have gone ahead and wrote my story based on a rumor like that. But times have changed. I'm not sure if it's possible to do while you defend the train. I need to see it with my own eyes. If the rumor is true, it will make for a great scoop. I've already got an idea for the headline. Explosive Ace. So please, can you show me as soon as possible? It's alright. We will take on this quest. Self-confident as ever, I see. I'm counting on you. Alright, and another ranger team up. Hey ranger, I have another favor to ask of you. Up until now, I've seen you battle Grok single-handedly. But I'm interested in seeing how you'd do if you tried to gang up on them. If you've hired another ranger to fight by your side, let your partner land the final shot on a Grok you've already attacked. Using bombs outside of battle is a cheap move, so please don't do it. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do dirty cheap, cheap tricks to get the job done though. Alright, I want you to show me how you fight as a team. Okay, well we took on all the side quests. Those would be for day two. We'll try to get them all done day two because it's harder to do it on, on day three when there is, you know, a bunch of a train and the biggest amount of grocks you'll ever see on the stage. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, he says this every time, doesn't he? All right, well, that's fine. You don't need to talk to you that way then. Don't talk to me that way. I mean, um, okay. Now let's still see what Russ has to show us for the battle things. Battle report. So, it's today's battle report. Well, it doesn't look like our gun tower with the cannon did much defending at all. I think it only killed one this whole day. Then again, I do need to explore a little bit more of this corner up here. For next day. Let's see how many uses tower. Yeah, it only got one. Like I, like I as I suspected. Now, gun tower 2 was up here. Right? Yeah, that's gun tower 2. It just got knocked out. That looks like that would be a very effective gun tower. Unfortunately, it only does cannon. Yeah. Uh, well, not, not unfortunately. The game guide I'm using, it says to use a cannon on that one as well. Which might be a good idea. But I think... I'd sooner build the other towers that are nearby. Okay, that's gun tower 4. It gets... Supposedly it gets a Gatling gun. That one's already built, so we probably don't need to... We probably should build that... Do that one next. Gun Tower 6. Also, Gatling Gun. And then Gun Tower 5. Well, okay. I think I should focus on building on the ones that are already built. And then spend money on the ones nearest. That... You know... Need something. What's this one here? There we go. Gun Tower 3. All right, well, anyway, that's enough of this looking at the battle screen. We, uh, yeah, the first day, it's really hard to have a good idea as to where to put things. So, that being said, we'll back out. We will save up. Yeah. I can't see how many hearts I have left. But I think I'm good. I think I only had one heart damage. So, yeah, we can just save our game here.
Okay, well, let's go end the day and have the ending talk thing. And then I'll make it an episode. Yep, yeah, let's end the day. All right, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the video. We will see you in the next one. We take up, we will, where we will do day two of stage one, main stage one. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Bye for now.